Hey guys, Mom begins here, and welcome back to Duskwood. Um, yeah, let's get right into it this time. I have nothing else to say. All right. Jesse. Ah, good, you're here. I've got some news. I'm all ears, Jesse. As you know, I couldn't find anything about an AEMC gremlin in the files for Roger's garage. Weird. I gotta move, it's really hot in this spot. And you also know, Roger's garage was the only garage in Duskwood back then. Yeah. That's much cooler over here. I thought there was no way the gremlin never had to go... Never... Never ever had to go to the garage. Exactly. I thought the same thing. Just, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I knew there had to be something. And I thought I had took another look at the files after our conversation. Okay, but this time I didn't go through everything cover to cover, but instead concentrated on the specific item on a specific time. The time of the Pine Gala Festival ten years ago. Right. And what did you find? Just see. Why am I not answering? It's not working. Um, there we go. So, May 2012? Yes, exactly. I would have been... Nine? <laughs> Why don't you do that? No, wait, I would have been ten. Why don't you do that? Yeah, first, list, I did. Yeah, in May, I would have been 10. Yeah, would have just turned 10 a month ago. That was the first thing I did, actually. But when I couldn't find anything, I just started from the beginning. Just so I wouldn't miss anything. Okay. Oh, I see. The files from Roger's garage are all consecutively numbered. I couldn't find any anomalies with files 1, 1102 and 1104, but I did find something in file 1103 because that file is missing. How convenient. It's very convenient. Oh. <gasps> Good find, Jesse. Thanks. I told you these files were super important. Never doubted you. But wait, there's more. Okay. I took a closer look at file 1102. And I noticed the paper was a bit uneven. Oh? If someone had folded the page? I don't think so. Uh, no, that's not what I mean. Right, what do you mean then, Jesse? Wait, 
When you press hard enough on a paper while writing, you can leave traces on the page behind it. Right, I know that. We believe a secret message. We delivered a secret message to each other in school that way. <laughs> we did that too. I don't think we actually did. Haha, <laughs> really? That's so funny. Anyway, I got a pencil and traced over the uneven parts. One second. Of course, it's a premium photo. What can you see on this picture? A signature. Of someone called Ten... Ted... Madara. I haven't even mentioned that name before. I've been after Ted for a while now. Isn't Ted in jail? How fitting. I'm sure the missing file is that of the AC gremlin. And Ted m signed that exact file. Which means he is the owner of the gremlin. If you're wondering what I'm playing with, it's just a big stack of hockey cards that I have that I need to do something with later. Yeah, he is. He must have stolen the file. Because it would have incriminated him. Is he in jail? I'm pretty sure. He is? Oh, but Ted's in prison. He is? How are you sure about that? Well, I'm not sure at all anymore. Maybe he just sent someone else to steal the file for him. Fluffykins? Yes. Is this the way Ricky... Is this why Ricky had to die? I don't know. Uh, I have to talk to Jake about it. Do that. Maybe I can find out a bit more. There's not a lot else I can do here. Oh boy, okay, I'll be right back. Alright. Unknown added me. Uh-oh. The man without a face is back. I think. Hmm? Unknown has sent something. Oh my gosh. Is that Hannah and Ricky? Uh, it looks like it. Is that live? What is this about? Uh, of course. <laughs> you have to see this. It's important. What's wrong, Fluffykins? I just received something. This looks... I don't know. My goodness. Hannah. Fluffykins. Where did you get this?
three guesses. He just sent it to me. Oh my god. Ricky. Guys. Ricky's alive. Unbelievable. I knew he was alive. Is this a live broadcast? I think so. Really? How do you know? You can see the date in the picture. What is this? Is he messing with us? What's wrong with them? What has he done to them? He's probably given them some sort of drug. Fluffykins. Can you send this to Alan? If he sees this, I bet he's going to want to help us again. I don't know. Of course. I saw what happened. Look at the walls in the background. Wait, I have to look at it again. It looks like trees? Or rocks of some sort? <laughs> this is not a good angle. Where could that be? I don't know. There's not... They're not a normal house. That's They're not in a normal house, that's for sure. I will try finding information about this stream. Perhaps I will be able to find where it's being broadcasted from. Yeah, good idea. Please, and you, please, send this to Alan Flippigans. I have news. The kidnapper just sent me this. guys there's something back there what what do you mean back there in the forest but I couldn't be on the road to oh no but it's still too far away oh goodness that's not good <laughs> maybe it's just someone going on a walk. I really don't know. I don't think they're talking about the live stream. I think they're talking about in real life. Well, in the game life. It looks like a lamp or something. The road leading to our house is a dead end. If the person is on the road, they're heading to us. Oh boy. 
I can't see the light anymore. That's Michael. I'm sure. And how are you so sure? He's coming to act on his threats. How can he be so sure? Everyone, please stay calm. That's important right now. Are you all still in position? Yes. Lily and I are in the downstairs bedroom. Okay. Thomas is at the bathroom next door. Dan is in the living room and Jesse is upstairs. This doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? Thomas, what doesn't? Why would Michael send us this stream and then come here? To distract you, probably. There. Again. It's a lot closer than it was before. Everyone stay calm. Showtime. Of course, Dan. Of course, you would say something like that. There. He's here. Uh-oh. Right in front of us. This isn't good. Oh, no. Oh, my. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. That's creepy. No, don't zoom in. menacing so menacing I don't like that <laughs> what in the world is he doing why do I keep checking this for I don't know he's waiting for what Shoot. That's not enough. I can't hit him from this distance. Dan, why do you want to hit him? If you miss your shot, he'll know you have a weapon. You're right. It's just like with her. This is exactly what Hannah said. There was a man standing on the edge of the forest. Yes, Billy, you're right. He turned off his lamp. I can't see him anymore because he's coming for you. Is he gone? Maybe. Nope, he's coming for you. It's so dark. He could be anywhere. He could be in the house. What do we do now? Wait, like sitting ducks. Stay in your positions. He's going to try coming in any second now. Oh, I bet ya. Hey, boo. If this goes wrong, no, oh, I don't like this the way this is going. <laughs> There's gotta be the set something straight for me. Then you're gonna have to set something straight for me. Sure, Dan, what do you need me to do? Answer me! I think I can see him. He's on the porch. Uh oh. Not far away from me. What is he doing? I don't know. Have you ever heard of locking doors and windows? I'm going out there. Thomas, no. I can catch him. Unaware. Dude, no. He can't see me. You don't know that. 
I can see him too. If he turns around now and just leaves, that was it. Thomas. Seriously. I'm warning you. Ooh. <laughs> this man gets on my nerves so much. I'll try to help. Oh. OMG. They went outside. Dan's not the one that annoys me. Thomas is the one that annoys me. Oh my gosh, he's annoying. They went outside. What are you doing right now? Up where are you right now? Upstairs in one of the rooms. I can't see anything outside. Call me, I want to see. Anything, everything is quiet in the house. Why is it so quiet? Shouldn't I be able to hear something? Jesse, you have to stay calm. I... I have to help them. No, that's not a good idea. Of course it isn't. But I can't keep hiding here. Fluffykins. Are you with me? I am, Jesse. I'm not leaving. Oh boy, this is not gonna be good. Oh boy. They really know how to scare me, that's for sure. Well, not scare me, but put you on edge. Duskwood is really good at that, putting you on edge and making you nervous. Just so menacing, like how he just stood there, the man without a face. I mean, this cabin's pretty pretty, pretty nice. Oh boy. Why is the door open? Ten. Shout a little louder there, Jesse. <laughs> oh my god. I knew something bad was gonna happen. Oh. Guys? Fluffykins. Are you hurt? No? Oh my god. Everyone's fine. Everything's fine. Where are the others? We know Dan's safe. Not bad, Jack Daniels. I told you I'd protect you. Michael ran away. Of course he did. He just got shot. <laughs> He's not going to stick around. I went after him for a while. Of course he did. But then I lost him. Darn. He's been shot, Thomas. He won't get any slower. Michael ran into the forest. It's pitch black out there. And there are all...
And then there's all those trees, not a chance. Well, and where are Cleo and Lily? They're looking for any traces of Michael. And I, I tell them to come back inside. Where? How did he get in? Clifikins, I'll go back. I'll be back to talk to you later. My hands are shaking so much. I could hardly type. You did a really good job, guys. Keep me updated. Of course. We really did it. Did what? They confront he finally confronted them. That was good. Great episode. Very intense uh, suspenseful and everything. Alright, anytime is gaming time. Till next time, guys. Gaming, sunny up. Bye guys. Thank you.